Hey, NanoBaby77, you asked a great question on our video on how, about how to protect and unprotect a range of cells in an Excel worksheet. You wanted to know if you did this on your end, if your users could still insert columns or rows, or actually I think you want to know how to prevent them from inserting columns and rows on a protected sheet. And I think the good news is if you follow the instructions in the video and just protect the sheet, keep that top checkbox uh, selected about not wanting users to update the sheet and lock cells, you will be good to go. They will not be able to insert rows and columns. But if you wanted them to be able to insert rows and columns, you would want to check from that drop down list of things that you wanted users to be able to do. You would see the little checkbox for insert column and insert row. And if you check those, then you could still protect the sheet and people could still insert columns and rows. But if you protect the sheet by default, they won't be able to insert columns and rows. So that should do, uh, do you pretty good, NanoBaby77. If anyone else out there has questions, let me know and I'll see you in the comments.